Hey gang, what's going on? Shay from the Shay Show. And yes, this is Ed's house. We got things moving and grooving. We uh, got the um, rough plumbing all done. We have all the electrical done. Jason's actually doing uh, the drywall work and skim coating. There's a lot of damn skim coating in this damn house. He's not here right now. He's at Home Depot. He has to go get some more material. He said, man, there's a lot of mud I got to use here. Hey, man, you knew that when you looked at it. it Sound like he's trying to reverse and go up on a price. I said, no, we, we locked into where we are, bro. You've been here. You know what time it is. And that we got to work with what we got it. You know, but I still got a deadline. Now, right now, since we did the electrical and they came out, did the investigation there, and uh, that we had to wait for the line crew to come out. So the line crew was actually here tying power to the house. So we're moving, we, we, we rocking and rolling. The line crew is here tying it in. So we should have power before the day is out. It'll be, by the time you guys be done, it'll be hot, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll you the man. Man, I could not get in that basket. I'm scared of heights, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't do what he's doing. Oh. Hell no. Hell, even going up on the ladder where you are a little bit too high for me, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Dangerous job, brother. It makes me wonder how these guys get out here, man, and tie things in illegally and stuff, man. I've seen some crazy hookups, man. Yeah, that's why some of them get killed. Yeah, they get killed. And fatality here in Detroit at the same time. There's a big thing in Detroit for the way they hook these lines back up. Right. I don't know why they do it or how they do it. I just know it's dangerous. It is, indeed. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. Right. All right, take care, brother. Okay, Bob. Thank you. I'm, I'm good evening. You too. All right, that's how fast we're moving over here. We're not, we not wasting no time. We're getting this page up and running. Now we got power. We're going to have power within the next hour or two. We're going to light this baby up, put a porch light on here and there, and we'll keep working. All right, like I said, this is not going to be a real long video at all. I just want to uh, give Ed an update on what's going on. Mozart in the hood. I think that's Mozart on an ice cream truck. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Usually, shit. Yesterday, I see the ice cream truck coming down the street playing freaking two chains, blasting. This is gonna be coming down shortly. So the city's gonna end up tearing this down. So, it's gonna be a good thing. I told Ed what happens is when they knock this down and get it all smoothed out and stuff, just buy the lot for a hundred bucks. Buy it for a hundred bucks. Fence it in. We can get it fenced in. And uh, it'll probably take, it, well, it'll take about a year, a good year, to try to get it down and manage really well where you got actual grass and make it look good. I did it to one of my lots.
if you ask any of these hood kids what song is that playing or who is that, they couldn't tell you. They wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm thinking it's Mozart or somebody around that era. But they wouldn't know that. Yeah, this would be nice. Once this is knocked down and fenced off to that property. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, that's that. I got to go check on another house real quick and see what they're doing over Peter's house. Until then, guys, we'll see you at the next location.